Good morning, YouTube pipe smokers. Hope you're having a good weekend. Last of the hurrahs. Labor Day. End of the summer. Anyway, I want to talk about this diet more. Maybe it can help some of you. As I said in my previous video, I've been in a lot of diets. And uh, the interesting thing about diets, they all work in the beginning. And, um, and then slowly, you, you reach a plateau, usually like the initial 7 to 10 pounds, you sort of do okay. And you say, all right, this is working, you're happy with it. And then you get stuck. And then days and weeks, you get on the scale and nothing. So you get frustrated. And then you start to go off a little bit. And then slowly your weight creeps back on. And then sometimes with the added bonus of more weight. So, YouTube being the great tool that it is, uh, I came across this few really good people that suggested fasting. So I looked into it, and there's a lot of apps about it uh, for your phone that help you. And it's all different fast. So one suggestion is uh, intermittent fasting. So you can do it for, let's say you last, you normally, let's say you eat at six o'clock in the night, p.m. You don't eat nothing after dinner. And then you go to bed, let's say at nine or 10 o'clock. And then you get up at six. So you did not eat basically for 12 hours. If you extended that till noontime and skipped breakfast, uh, you'll have 18 hours, 18 hours without eating. Now that's very beneficial. But the trick is, in the window that you do eat, whatever you choose, is to pick good options. So you don't want to not eat for, let's say, 18 hours and then have a big bowl of ice cream. Although you still get some benefit of the fasting, uh, you're going to have all those calories in ice cream. So I chose to do the keto regimen, which you eliminate sugar and carbs as low as possible. Basically, keto, if you keep 20 carbs and under, is the goal on a keto diet, and no sugar at all. Because sugar and carbs are the killer, not only to your body, but to, they sabotage the diet. And everything, I mean, just about everything has sugar or carbs in it. And sometimes they, they go under different names that you don't recognize, which again is some really good phone apps to identify that. Uh, if you look up Whole30, uh, a phone app, they have a scanner that you can scan barcodes and Sometimes the food is listed, sometimes it's not. But it has this unique ability to scan the ingredients. You take a picture, and somehow it picks out all the hidden words for carbs and sugar, and it'll tell you uh, not Whole30 compliant. Now, Whole30 is another diet, that which I tried also, and that's a good diet as well but you reach the same problem with that diet, you plateau. And I'll tell you why you plateau in a little bit. But the whole 30 you eat 
what they call clean food, so a lot of organic, not processed foods, uh, grass-fed beef and grass-fed butter, uh, and that's what makes it a good diet. So you're free of uh, GMOs and uh, pesticides and that type of thing, which is all a good thing. It's kind of pricey to be on the Whole30 diet because once you have to buy organic, grass-fed, the price goes up for the food. So, what happens from what I'm reading from this uh, book, The Life in the Fasting Lane, actually I'm listening to it on audio, is the, the school of thought is calories in and calories out. So, like my, even my doctor told me that if you take in a thousand calories a day, but you don't burn a thousand calories, you're not going to lose weight. But here's what happens. So let's say normally, whatever you eat normally, not paying attention, you could probably easily be in the two to four thousand dollars, four thousand calorie. a day situation. That's a lot of calories. So now you say to yourself, and it's all the school of thought of Weight Watchers and all those type of diets, restrict your calories. You can do, they got the formulas where you figure it out by your weight and the height, and they tell you for a man, a maximum of, I've done this, 2,100 calories a day. So you limit your food to 2,100 calories a day. And lo and behold, the first week you drop five or six pounds. Which, by the way, if you're 30 years old, you'll drop significantly more because you're younger and you are a little more active and um, it's easier to drop the weight. So now you, you, you cut your calories back to 2,000 from where you were at four or more thousand calories a day. Excuse me, I get my water. So you do that, you cut your calorie intake down, and you lose that initial five or six pounds, which is basically water weight. Water weight comes off the easiest. And then you plateau. No more weight loss. So why is that? So this book, Life in the Fasting Lane, the doctor explains it. What happens is your body's not stupid. So when your body's used to eating three to 4,000 calories a day, it, it knows that. So now you reduce your calorie intake and initially the body adjusts. But now, after a week or two, and you plateau, the body says, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting the calories I used to get. So we have to start storing calories, because this guy is not eating like he used to eat. So you'd have to reduce your calories further. And then you'll drop a little more, but then the body readjusts and starts storing the calories that you are eating because it's not getting the calories it was used to. And it's a vicious cycle. In the meantime, you get discouraged, and next thing you know, I had to hell with this, and you go back, and then you gain the weight that you lost. Unless you're a person that can exercise, walk, bicycle, treadmill, which is hard with this COVID thing because a lot of gyms are closed if you were a gym person. They're just starting to open around here with restrictions, but let's face it, most of us probably are not going to exercise enough to compensate for our food intake, especially if you're older. And I'm 59. My knees are basically shot from standing up on concrete for 40 years. Um, so, 
you exercise and you end up with more issues. Not that exercise is bad, but you have to do different type of exercises when you're older, not to hurt yourself. So the concept of fasting is not new. It's, it's an old tradition. In the caveman days, remember, which we're descendants of, the caveman went out to hunt. Some days he did not get nothing. So it could be two or three days before he ate anything. And then when he caught the animal, then he had a feast for a few days. But again, it was all protein. There was no carbs or sugar back then. So his body was always lean and, and mean in a warrior type of uh, body. Nowadays, everything is engineered, so all our food, I mean, you look at the box of cereal that you think they try to say is healthy for kids in the morning, and that cereal's loaded with sugar and carbs. I mean, it really is, unless you buy like a grape nuts or a, a, those type of healthy cereals, which most kids don't like, let's face it. Cereal is like a bad choice. So is orange juice, by the way, in the morning. It's loaded with sugar. So, the fasting is a good way to do it. Now, I've been doing 48-hour fast. Now, you say, that takes a lot. But here's what happens. The first day gets a little hard. Because, again, you're readjusting your body to accept this new way of life. So you feel a, a, a void. Your stomach starts to feel a little hollow. But after the first 24 hours, your body readjusts and said, hmm, this guy's not eating. But I gotta survive. So it starts using the fat that you have stored for its fuel, which puts you in what they call ketosis. So now your body is, you got this fat burning machine inside of you. And believe it or not, and I swear to you this is true, on the second day, you don't feel hungry. You say, how can that be? You didn't eat for over 24 hours because your body is satisfying itself by eating the fat that you have, have stored over your body. And lo and behold, in a matter of those 48 hours after the fast, you get on the scale and in two, or three, two days, you'll see three to four pound down. Now, what I do is when I do a 48-hour fast, by the way, <clears throat> I started last Thursday, not this past Thursday, the Thursday before this. So I'm uh, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Today is my 12th day. I've lost a total of 29 pounds in that period. Uh, the first few days, you get a headache. Um, so you battle that a little bit and eventually that goes away I never felt weak I never felt uh, tired or uh, really starving like I said the first day is the toughest now on the days that you do eat what I choose to do is I eat one meal a day so basically I'm fasting uh, for 20 hours and then I'll eat the meal, and I'll eat a low carb, low uh, sugar, or no sugar actually, meal. So I'll have a piece of steak and uh, broccoli, or uh, cauli cauliflower is good. Uh, any vegetable that's grown above the soil. Asparagus, uh, Brussels sprouts, uh, spinach, those type of uh, vegetables. 
and so far it's really working for me and you could try this in baby steps do a one day fast or do it or start small do a, a 12 hour fast 16 hours and uh, it becomes a way of life and you, the beauty of it if you choose to once you get to your goal of weight then you could eat on your days that you don't fast anything you want you feel like having a slice of pizza you can have it you're not restricted to just these foods that you've eliminated when you're trying to lose weight. On the days you don't fast, you can have that ice cream. You can have, uh, I don't advise it in the beginning if you have a lot of weight to lose. I have like uh, a lot of weight to lose. I mean, if I went by those charts with the height, forget about it. I, I don't go by those charts. Um, I have probably, realistically, a hundred pounds to lose, in my mind, that I'll be happy with. So I'm going to stick to a keto format until I reach my goal weight. And then my plan is to, on the days I don't fast, if I want that pizza or that ice cream or something, I'll have it and then go right back to fasting on my normal regimen. So you come up with a schedule. So if you know you have a birthday party coming up, you want a piece of cake, and that's the other beauty of this diet. You can fast, you can change your fast days. So if you know a birthday party's coming up and you know you want that piece of cake, and it happened to be on a day you would normally fast, fast the day before, anticipating that, that you're gonna eat that piece of cake and then fast the day after. And a lot of, the, first of all, you save a lot of money. That's number one. Number two, you have a lot of time on your hands because your brain is not consumed by, oh, I'm hungry, I want to eat something. And that's the other weird thing. I think a lot of us, myself, I speak for myself, eat because of habit. I've caught myself eating when I'm really not hungry. I mean, how many times have you gone to a restaurant, you just had a full meal, you're stuffed, and then they come around with the dessert tray, and you all of a sudden make room for the dessert, and now you're super stuffed, and you leave this restaurant. That's your brain wanting that cake over you needing that cake. None of us are that hungry that you need to eat a big meal and have a dessert afterwards. It's our mind, it's our habit, we eat with our eyes. So you have to change your um, your attitude towards food. If it's important to you to lose weight, you know, being heavy is one thing, but when it starts to affect your health, that's a whole other story, and eventually, being heavy will catch up with everyone, either through diabetes or uh, God forbid cancers or joint pain or it's all related. So you need to be, uh, try to be careful, especially the older you get. You know, our bodies are really resilient machines, but they can heal and overcome when you're young. As you get older, things don't heal as quickly, and um, it really becomes an issue. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy this series. I urge you to check out these uh, intermittent fasting. There's a lot of information on YouTube through some really good people. Some of them are doctors, and um, I highly recommend it. Thank you, and leave a comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.